Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be a special episode. Uh, first thing I want to mention is the whole fact that we have reached 40,000 subs. And that is awesome guys. Thanks a lot. It's really special to me. It's really unbelievable. But I figured for today's episode of Scrap Mechanic, we'd go back to a old map. This is something a lot of you guys have been talking about in the comment section. It recently came up again when I announced that the town was having some issues and that I needed to look at building in new areas and creating new maps. Now I'm still going to create a new themed map, but I figured for this episode and for 40,000 subs we'd go back to a, I want to call it an old fan favorite. Now I think, now the last thing that happened here was the Farmbot Factory and that basically crashed the map. It was really, really laggy, it was really hard to run, it was hard to record. Now, I recently got a new computer, so everything is actually running pretty good. It was still bad though. So I went back into the Farmbot Factory, cleaned it up, I figured some things out that were causing the lag. A lot of it is stuff I learned from the town, and I'll show you guys that here in a second and show you that it actually runs pretty good and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to be able to run it now. Now the second thing that I've done in the town, or oh I'm so used to calling this the town, the second thing that I've done in the apocalypse world is I've created a new vehicle. Now this is the old zombie buster. This started the whole apocalypse theme. It was something different. I was building a lot of traditional vehicles at the time and I figured I'd build something a little bit different. It's like a post-apocalyptic RV pretty cool it's got these folding doors it's got a gas suspension uh, it's made out of concrete uh, it's got these things that I think are supposed to be guns on it and it's got these little hooks out here this is like a weapon system kind of help protect yourself uh, pretty cool vehicle but I figured you know what I could do a lot better so I set out to build this thing again now I did it in a flat world I took the bottom I Basically, that's the only part that's left that I used. I cut the top off and I completely started over. And we're going to go look at it right now. It's setting outside. It's a monster. It lags fairly bad once it hits the ground. And it's because it's got a lot of bearings. Now, if you'll notice the two, they look pretty similar. Except for this one is now made completely out of metal. It's got new wheel wells. Its new weapon on the front is actually a loader. Uh, it's got these little spikes on there. Definitely fight off all the farm bots with those. Uh, I've changed the suspension. The gas suspension was no longer powerful enough since it's made completely out of metal, so I've changed those up. Uh, I added these little parts here, these will well parts. They look a lot better than the cages that I had on the other one. Uh, I've been using the new logic gates that have come out in the latest scrap mechanic update, so now you can open it up from the outside and it closes from the cockpit seat. I know that was possible before but it you had to use like a weird bearing combination and it was a, really a pain so happy to see that. Now one thing you're probably noticing is that the side looks not as busy as the side on the uh, original zombie buster and by the way we're calling this the farm bot buster now. Uh, this thing does something really cool and let me go ahead and show you the spider web. As you can see there's a lot going on here. A lot of bearings. And that's why this thing lags. That's really the only thing that causes lag in Scrap Mechanic now is a lot of bearings. And this thing is loaded down with them. It kind of transforms a little bit and there's a really cool thing in the back. Now, other than that, it's... I would say it's somewhat similar to the original design. It's definitely longer. Uh, this one over here, it cuts off a lot sooner and you've got a little storage area in the back. This one is just like a complete dome in the back. But I definitely dig this one a lot more. It's just so much more awesome. It looks mean. Especially once I set it on the ground here. Let's go ahead and set it down. And you can just see, I mean the front end, just the way it looks. The teeth on the uh, loader there. Uh, the new edging parts or the new edges that I've added. Uh, this originally was like one big cube. I've added a little bit of shape to it. Uh, there's a little roof hatch now that actually pops out. Uh, it just looks better to me. But it not only looks better, it does quite a bit more than the one over there. That was just really a big box with wheels. Or I wouldn't say box, say rectangle. 
This thing has got a little more to it. Now I've added these big handy side steps on here. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to climb into the cockpit. The other one used to have a door here on the side, but I've replaced it with just the front doors here because there's a lot going on on the inside as you can see. Now this is no longer an RV, this is morally a combat vehicle. Uh, the Farmbot Apocalypse is here and you need tons of weapons to destroy them all. Now let's go ahead and go for a little cruise here, I'm going to go ahead and shut the door. We're going to drive around, it drives pretty good, it drives about, about as well as you'd expect, it's really big and bulky. But if you recall this map here, this is the old town that I used, uh, I had a really cool cinematic intro on the Apocalypse World video. Uh, I'm going to link all those in the description because that was definitely a cool series and that was before I had 20,000 subs so we've doubled since then. Uh, but the town is completely there. Uh, there is some more vehicles around. There's like a jeep. Uh, there's a armored UPS truck around here somewhere. I don't know. Maybe it's down by the factory. I bet you it is. Uh, let's see. I don't know if there's anything else in town. You've got the old blown out schools. Uh, there's some little secrets in there and you there's little farm bots and these were before I really knew what the farm bots look like so they actually look like like people robots with the farm or the tote bot heads but yeah I'm excited to be back here now if it looks a little choppy it, realistically it's the vehicle uh, it just creates some lag uh, other than that this thing runs very very smooth uh, but I didn't really intend on this vehicle turning out the way it did. I just went a little crazy when I started building. I was like, what could I have done differently? And I figured it out. No, oh, there's the uh, there's the Jeep. You can see it over there. That's on the workshop too. That's under, I think, Apocalypse Jeep. That thing's actually been downloaded quite a few times. Uh, hopefully this one will get downloaded quite a bit too. We've got a couple little features here that we're going to check out before we head over to the FarmBot factory. Uh, of course, you've got the little loader here. It moves down and puts itself into position to uh, scoop up farm bots and move them out of the way. Pretty cool. It doesn't move that much. Uh, it's kind of limited what you can do with the controllers. Uh, hopefully, we get some more things. I'm going to work with those logic gates. Maybe there's some other things that I could be doing. Uh, the only thing I haven't really messed with are the timers. Uh, I don't really have a use for them right now, but the logic gates are really cool. Maybe I can somehow do something with those and make that... A little more controllable but anyways you've got that both doors open from the cockpit so those open you've got the roof hatch now say you're driving around and there's farm bots in front of you if you don't want to use the front here you've always got some other options instead of running them over you've got the gun turrets on this side these are really cool they fold out of course they don't really actually shoot but they're just here for show uh, kind of like most things in Scrap Mechanic right now, we don't have a proper survival mode, so I don't really know what's going to happen there. But it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, definitely happy with that. And then after I did that, I was like, well, what about the rear of the vehicle? It's like, what happens if we get attacked from behind? So I thought about that for a little bit. And that's where this vehicle got really, really busy. Uh, let me go ahead and open the spider web while I'm in here. And you can see there's bearings everywhere there's controllers all on the floor here you click this little button here and you can open it up uh, you can see the amount of controllers i've got i got a couple of the uh, logic gates those are for the side panels here now what you can do here you can climb into this turret and you can activate it and the whole thing folds down and this whole thing lifts out of the uh out of the base of the vehicle here now you can do that or you can click or you can manually click these buttons and just lower the walls down so you don't want to climb in here and do it. So that's where the logic gate comes in. But anyways, what you do, you climb into the turret. Uh, you can see me in here right now. And you are going to just click one through five in order. So just go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five. And there we go. A little gun turret pops out. I think this is actually really awesome. Uh, you can move these from left to right. Uh, I wanted to make the whole thing turn, but the vehicle is an even number of blocks across, and we don't have a two-block bearing, so it's kind of hard to do that without it being offset and being kind of weird. So I made it where the uh, just the fronts turn, so you get a little bit of flexibility. Uh, another thing that I did, and this is why we have so many bearings, I could have just made these fold straight out, and that would be kind of awkward because they would poke out really far especially the side pieces here so I put some extra bearings in that way it kind of looks like a pilled banana but 
it really, really saves some room on the outside. Uh, it looks pretty cool too, so. Those fold down, the uh, roof actually folds back and folds on top of itself. I left a one, I think, I think it's like one block of space in between. That way it, you weren't getting another collision of blocks up there. Uh, that's helped a little bit, but still a little choppy. It's still a really cool vehicle. But yeah, you should be driving around. These, uh, it drives around just fine with these pieces hanging down. They don't make really any contact with the uh, ground because the suspension, everything's pretty sturdy, so you don't dip too much. But uh, let's hop back in, and I'm going to show you guys the transformation from the inside. Uh, to reverse this, just instead of going 1 through 5, go 5 through 4. So we go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And everything should fold back here. Oh, there goes the roof. And here comes the walls. There we go. And let's do it one more time from the inside. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And we are ready to shoot some farm bots. Uh, definitely a really cool design. I'm pretty proud of it because I don't do too many things that transform. So this is pretty neat. Anyways, let's go ahead and fold that down. Now to get out of this, you just simply hop out and it pops you out the roof for some reason. It doesn't even catch you. Just right out. So... Anyways, we are ready to go check out the uh, FarmBot factory real quick, and then we're going to wrap this up. But yeah, I figured this would be something special that you guys, a lot of you guys want to see. Is, uh, a lot of you guys have been subbed to me before the town. Uh, this was the main build that definitely gained the channel some traction, so I'm really happy to come back to this uh, and run the map again. Like I said, I, I don't know if I'm going to be building in it like full time or doing what I did with the town. Uh, I still want to expand my horizons when it comes to scrap mechanics, so we're definitely going to be trying some different builds, different worlds. I don't mind doing solo vehicle builds like this. This is kind of fun still. Uh, so we might do some more of these. Of course, we're going to do more structures. Uh, I just got a lot of things planned, so still comment below about suggestions for worlds. Uh, you guys have been great about that. It's been amazing the amount of feedback that I've gotten uh, from the different types of worlds you want to see. And like I said, the town isn't done either. I've been working in it a little bit. I actually was in it earlier. Uh, I'm still kind of slowly building onto it. I'm trying to figure out what may have been causing the crashes. So I've got to work with that a little bit. And whoa, the lag is real right here. The lag is real in this area. Okay, it does not like these vehicles being too close. Let me go ahead and hop out. Okay, as you can see, it's running a lot smoother now. Uh, that vehicle is a bit of a beast. Uh, hopefully that gets better. I think it's just the bearings on it. But I think Scrap Mechanic, uh, we're going to get that engine update. I'm hearing now that it's actually going to be in September, which is a little disappointing because I figured it was going to be here in August. Uh, that way, at least that's what I was saying in all my town videos because that's what I heard. And I was like, oh, this isn't going to be bad. So uh, once we get that, this will hopefully run even better. But... Like I said, I used to not be able to run very good right here. Like, this is where I would get crashes, and this is why I had to stop this. But this is the FarmBot factory, and you can see I can run right into it now. It's a miracle. Uh, one thing that was really hurting this area, and I figured it out in the town. You notice in my town I have a lot of lines in the road? It's because Scrap Mechanic, when you stick things together, it registers it as, like, one entity. So, say that outer wall the gate or the fence here and the building was registered as one item and it caused a lot of lag but when I cut the I've got a couple cuts here I've cut the road here and I've cut parts of this fence off it's made it 10 times better like this area I can actually run around in and it's pretty good uh, it still isn't perfect but it's a really busy area I remember I put a lot of effort into this I mean you've got several areas in here you've got the uh elevator you've got the factory floor this is like the administrative offices i didn't actually get to finish these i remember the farm bot factory the final i was disappointed because this was the last area i was working on but you've got those let me go ahead and take a look at the floor real quick and then we'll wrap this up anyways this is the uh, factory floor out here pretty neat area i've shown all this off before in previous episodes i just wanted to kind of walk through here real quick and show you guys that it is running pretty good but yeah there's no guarantee that I'm going to do a lot of episodes in this. I just wanted to return to this kind of in celebration of the 40,000 subs. I wanted to do a vehicle build in here for you guys. Now, I'm going to have another scrap mechanic coming up tomorrow. Uh, it's probably going to be a viewer creation. I've got a really hectic weekend coming up. 
Uh, I'm going to start working on the other worlds and just kind of doing what feels right. I'm, I've been, I don't know, I haven't really made up my mind as far as what I'm going to do next. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities. But anyways, I'm going to try to do that tomorrow so you'll have a viewer creation. I've got a lot of things to go through and I'll decide which one I want to cover. So we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll have Terra Tech returning during the weekend. Uh, maybe another new game. Uh, we're going to also be probably doing another multiplayer episode of Scrap Mechanic. Those have been really fun to do, so uh, look for that probably on Monday. And then we'll wrap back around and start doing some more builds in Scrap Mechanic. So keep giving me those suggestions, guys. It's been fantastic. Like I said, thank you guys for the 40,000 subs. It's been amazing. Uh, the response to the channel and everything, just how everything's going, it's, it's amazing. So thank you guys. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to like and subscribe, if you're new to my channel, I've got plenty of gaming content coming out almost every day. I, I do miss days here and there. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.